practitioner one. Medicine. Hello, everyone. Today we're here to remember, uh, today we're here to remember Radical Tony. I found out the other day Radical Tony had passed away. I mean, I didn't know Radical Tony for long, but I was still, we, we still talked a good bit. This is going to be a difficult show to get through. Okay, John, turn off the music, please. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, we're not in our normal location. I'm, I'm currently at home. Um, I didn't have much preparation for this, but I felt home would be a, the best place to do this episode because of, you know, it's a more personal thing. This isn't going to be our normal show. Let's see who all we have. I'm sorry. I got a text message. Um, yeah, let's see what all we have. Well, there's really no one in our waiting room. Um, I mean, the phone lines are open if you want to call. I'm planning on this being a short show because, you know, with the passing of Radical Tony and everything. <coughs> Passing of Radical Tony and everything. I'm I'm just not in the mood to to do this today. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um I was planning on doing this at the funeral home, but I wasn't allowed. They told me no cameras, which I, I understand. Um, yeah. Alright, well, we do have one call coming through. Hello, caller. How can I help you? Yeah, it is. It was a self inflicted gunshot wound to the head. 
how can you say something like that? What gives you the right? You're a sick fuck. I hope you know that. This is a horrible idea. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this show. Not today. I can already tell it's going to be fucking awful. Seems like I have an email, which is strange. Um, I guess why not? Um, this is from Joe. He the shoes have been up there for as long as anyone could remember. In fact, it's difficult for anyone to come up with a date that first appeared. At seem they'd always been there and yet they seemed out of place why no one had removed them was a question there that you know but on this well, what uh thank you for the email that had nothing to do with anything that had nothing to do with today's uh, t today's show We have another one. Hello, caller. How can I help you? Hello, caller. How can I help you? Uh, yes, it is. Thank you. He he was he was a really good guy. All right. Well, you know me, the, the best way for me to explain my problems is in the form of a song. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. Go, go ahead. Go, go free. All right. Well, this one I call Crumbling Vectors. Terrible gas for weeks. I have diarrhea to end it leaks. I work so much that there's blood on the sheets, and it's causing open wounds on my cheeks. I have to shit about eight times a day. It never ends and won't go away. My whole so much that I could be gay And 85 pounds It's now what I weigh I'm in so much pain My burning sphincter drives me insane The smell of my gas goes to my brain It hurts so much I gotta walk with a cane I'm scrubbing my toilet bowl From the stuff I spray from my hole And the black liquid I piss from my pole My toilet looks like it was coated in coal I bleed so much that my skin is on fire But so is my ass, so don't call me a liar like my asshole was cooked in a fryer. It may smell 
like shit, but she sings like the choir. wondering if you had any advice for me this time I'd, I'd probably recommend to uh uh maybe sit on an ice pack it should it should fix your your problem i'm trying i've been sitting on a pack of frozen peas yeah. i don't know i should probably find a bag that's closed they keep getting inside so an, a pack of ice you say yeah, I, yeah, you should use maybe a nice pack. Maybe take in a. Honestly, you could just take and like insert a couple ice cubes into your anal anal region, and that should bring down all the problems that you're having. Inside. Yeah. Well, I've got these old, uh, you know, those old uh, things that you could make a frozen popsicle, you know, homemade frozen popsicles. I got some of those. That might work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should work just fine. All right. I mean, I appreciate the advice every time, Doctor. Yeah, I, I appreciate the music. You know, you brought my mood up a little bit. I was hoping to. A little bit of music goes a long way sometimes. But uh, my thoughts and my prayers are with you and with uh, Tony. Thank you. And I, I really uh, appreciate it. Well, thank you. And I just, yeah, I hope you can feel better. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a wonderful night. You too, Doctor. That was wonderful. I really enjoyed that song. Tony would have probably enjoyed it too if he was still here with us today. Alright, let's get this next one. Hello, caller. How can I help you? Uh, hello, Doctor. So, uh, I've recently come down with, we'll call it an illness. Okay. So, how do I describe it? When I was younger, I used to, uh, I used to take uh, a toothpick. You familiar with, like, a toothpick, the little, little wood stick thingy? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I used to take it, and I would put it into my urethra. Okay. That was that was when I was younger, and I'm I'm much older now, and I recently had the curiosity of what was going through my head when I was a young little boy, so I decided to try it again. Okay, and that was a week ago, and I am still in immense pain. Oh, and it it, it hurts when I urinate. And also, my, the head of my penis has turned black, but not like not like the, the long black. Like uh, I'm, I got I got like a little shrimp one, and it's still like you know the head of it's just it's just black, you know. Yeah. And I was, I was wondering how I might approach that. Um. All right, so it sounds like you may have a serious infection and it may be going gangrenous, so you might want to come down to the Medical Association building and watch and inspect it. Okay, and how, how would the ex inspection process, how, how would that be approached? Right, so first thing we need to do would be to uh, put a small, tiny little camera down your urethra just to see if there's any anything like stuck in there. Okay, so, so nothing weird like my old pastor used to do when he checked all the bo little boys? What do you mean? Like, because when I was younger, I also went to church, and the pastor would do like inspections, and he would take us in the back room, and he would uh, he would take his his thumb and put it in like our our butt, you know, to see if like the the penis had any oh, reaction. Kind of and like he a, would do that. Kind of like he, a, he would. He, uh, so, sorry, go ahead. He, he he would do that for an extraordinary amount of time until until, until the parents started asking questions. I, I don't know what happened to him; he disappeared. But like, 
No, it sounds like, like a it, prostate exam kind of thing. Okay, I, I was just curious. Like, is it gonna be anything like along those lines? Uh, no, no, I won't be inserting anything into your anus. Um, I w- we will need to insert a camera into your urethra and maybe put a topical salve on the head of the penis to try and get some of that skin back because it it sounds like most of it's probably dying. And it sounds like uh, you you can't afford to lose that much. Well, how how much would a procedure like this cost? Because how much I can afford to lose and how much I can afford to pay are kind of like, you know, like two different kind of things, you know? Yeah. Um. Well, I don't know. Our consultation will be free, but to get the equipment sanitized and everything, it'll probably be around like $4,000. For... Did you just... For... I mean, I guess that's not bad. Yeah. Um... Oh. Oh, hold on, I have a donation here. On, I need to read this out real quick. Not sure what that said. Uh, you can continue. Oh, Okay. Uh, how how do you guys accept payments? Like, do, would you do like financing? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, we can set up some sort of uh, payment plan for you. Like some on on the side work. Like, do you, uh, how how many injections do you guys do like weekly? Just in- injections in general, whether it be like flu shots or like you know stuff like that. Because like. I, I know by law you're you're forced to like <clears throat> dispose of those needles, yeah. but like I can I can hook up my boy Rico and he can like you know find some buyers for those you know maybe we can like work something out like that or maybe if you got like a script or two lying around I don't know like um I think this is a conversation for uh, off the air um we'll ah. we'll, we'll we'll be in touch. We'll okay there. okay i'll call you in about like i'll, I'll say like th- three hours on that that little uh right. little side telephone number All but right. but uh what, what would be a good time to schedule an appointment like uh cause... honestly we're 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 pretty full but i think i may be able to squeeze in with one of my other doctors i won't be able to do that myself because i'm booked up Okay, okay, I understand, but, but like I need to get this taken care of before that little squeezing in incident becomes like a squeezing penis off situation. You yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. All right, all right. Well, I'll call you in a few hours, Doctor Fingerman. Okay. Have a, a wonderful night, and thank you for your consultation. Yeah, thank you. You have a wonderful. I hope he, I hope he's okay. I'd hate for him to turn out like Radical Tony did and end up six feet under. Um, we had a donation that says I recently sucked a homeless man's toe that may or may not have had bad gangrene infection, and I'm worried that it might not have been worth the piece of lint and a quarter he gave me. Well, I mean, if you get gangrene for sucking on a homeless man's toe, you, frankly, you deserve it. I mean, yeah. Um, that was a good. That was a good call. Um, hello, Doctor King. How can I help you? Hey, uh, Doctor Fingerman. I know you're in a time of hardship, if you will. I uh, just wanted to call and see how you're doing today. I know you stayed at home today. Uh, due to grievance. Yeah, I'm. I'm not doing good. I'm actually still quite. Yeah, just um, there was also something that happened at the hospital today too that I think you should be aware of. There was um, I, I know this is a bad time to call in and tell you, but there was someone uh kind of scavenging like you know, you're messing around with in your doctor's office. Um, okay. papers were thrown everywhere. Uh, the desk was upside down. I mean, it looked like some like. Really strong man came in there and uh, kind of like threw everything around. It's it's not everything's broken, but it's a pretty big mess in there. Um, just wanted to let you know before you came back into the office within the next few days, whenever you do. Um, so yeah, the office is pretty screwed up on your end. Um, Eric said it was um, he he couldn't tell who it was because it was dark out, you know, nighttime. 
but it's some very, very big gentleman. Uh, I don't know what he was looking for exactly. Okay. Um, thank you for letting me know about this in advance. I'll be sure to uh, have... I have, I have someone sent over to take care of the mess. I have them clean it up. I don't want to clean it up. I'm have you had the funeral arrangements set up for Radical Tony here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I had everything set up. Thing is, his family came in and took over, and I, I, I wanted to set it up for him because I wanted to do my show there, and they, they set it up instead and told me no. So. Yeah, I'm. Uh, can't I can't imagine what you're going through. Uh, I don't know if you told your viewers or anything about how he passed, but uh, pretty horrific. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was a. Uh, I I had a conversation with someone and let him. No, it was a self-inflicted gunshot to the head. Yeah, he uh, yeah. obviously did not live, and there's no possible way he could have. Uh, feel feel bad for you. I'm sorry. Uh, the doc- I hope all's well for you in the near future, Dr. Fan. The doctor because, said uh, that he opened up his head like a clam. Yeah, it was uh, pretty ruthless, at least to say. Um, I'm sorry, Dr. Fingerman. I know you're in a time of hardship and everything, and you're just trying to help people. Uh, it's, very, it's very hard during this time, and uh, I don't know who you know who messed with your office or whatever, but uh, I hope we get justice for them as, uh, against them as well. Um, is that's just especially in your time of grievance is terrible. Absolutely, yeah, we're gonna get him, whoever it is. I don't care. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. I just wanted to let you know that some dude uh, kind of screwed up your office and was praying. You know, I'm, I'm praying for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, goodbye, uh, Doctor Finland. Yeah. Have a good night. As a reminder for everyone at home, um, our phone lines are open as well as our uh, Discord server is open. Um, you can do... What was it, John? Star 67? Yeah, you can do Star 67 if you don't want your number to be sent through to call, um, which is completely understandable. Um, you can join our Discord server, call in, and we can have a good time. Probably not today because of things that have that are happening. Um, I'm gonna take a short break, and whenever I come back, we're gonna get into some more uh, phone calls. Welcome to the Fingerman Medical Association. Our mission is to help all of our patients with all of their needs. With the coronavirus pandemic, things have been hard for everyone. That's why we at the Fingerman Medical Association are trying to create a cure. Out of all our patients, we wonder if there's anyone we're missing out on helping. That's why we created The Medical Show, to help save lives online. With your help, we can beat this thing. 
Call in now on our Discord server. to I have a couple more calls to get through and I I guess John has a couple videos that people sent in that they want me to watch so I can I can take care of that as well okay hello how can I help you Hey, yo, this is Bobby B. Uh, this is Dr. Fingerman. How can I help you? Man, this is Bobby B. I know what the fuck you sound like. What's up, dog? You know why I was just at? Uh, no, sir. Where, where were you? I just came out of your goddamn office, motherfucker. I get, where the fuck were you? What the fuck you up to? I just found your shit, dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... <laughs> This is Sigus, right? Who else would it be, dog? You know, I'm I'm not gonna accept this today. Man, I don't give a shit what you want, dog. I'm here to come for your asshole and you weren't even there today. What the fuck? I can't accept this today, Sigus. 
Man, I'm coming, motherfucker. You best be ready. Because I'm going to find out where you live, and I'm going to shove my biggest meat in you. A man died today. Well, not today. He died a couple days ago. But... Man, does this sound like I give a fuck about this Tony motherfucker? I'm looking for you, bitch. I'm not going to accept this. Say it. Man, you best be ready. You best get that fucking armor on your asshole, because my dick's a fucking power engine, dog. I got two hammers I'm packing. The one I'm going to beat your skull with, and the one in my pants, motherfucker. No. No. It's not happening. Man, you're going to be in the ground with Tony before I'm done with you, man. That's messed up. You can't, you can't say that. I just did. What the fuck you gonna do about it, motherfucker? I'm gonna hire. I'm gonna hire security for my home now. You're, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I bet you will, dog. You know what Sigus is gonna do? You know what Sigus is gonna do? What? He's gonna fuck that security too, man. No. I'll fuck everybody if it means getting you, motherfucker. I have a Glock here, okay? If you try coming here, I, I will not be scared to fire. Yeah, I bet you do, man. What the fuck's a bull gonna do, my ass? You know how many times I've been shot? You know how many times I've been shot in prison too, dog? You remember that shit? Remember in that cafeteria where I took five bullets in the fucking belly? That shit, I still fucking beat that motherfucker's ass. It's not happening. I know you, you remember that shit. You were there. I will admit, I was there. And I know. So what the fuck's your vlog gonna do, motherfucker? Ain't gonna do shit, you feel me? What are you gonna do, cry? You gonna cry? You gonna cry with my dicks in your ass too, motherfucker? I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> You're not gonna cry, I'm a motherfucker. Alright, man, I, I just, uh, I, I gotta find out where you live now, so should I go back in the hospital and, uh, no. get some more info, or are you gonna give me that address now? No, you need to stay out of the hospital. Yeah, what the fuck's gonna stop me, motherfucker? You know what, yeah, I do have an address for you to go to. I, I have an address for, I have, uh, my, my address right here. It is, uh, 7049 Northeast Street. Janesville, Wisconsin, five four or five three five four six. Man, how fucking stupid you think I am? That's my address. That ain't your shit, fucking address, dog. I'm not a fucking clear in that shit. Who the fuck even lives in Wisconsin, bro? Well, that's Doctor Fizz. Can go pay him a visit. Yeah, I might need to do that. You probably right, finger man, you better be ready, motherfucker, because I'm coming, and I'm coming for that ass. You're not going to be here. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. The amount of disrespect. I can't believe it. So damn disrespectful. Radical Tony died. And this is how you want to treat me. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's see who else I can get. Hello. How can I help you? Oh. Hello? 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 Was was I still in the waiting room? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, that was an accident. Oh. John, I think you pulled the wrong person in. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, have a good night. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, that was awkward. Um. <clears throat> Hello, caller. How can I help you? Um, 
Okay. Well, I think that's it for our calls. Now we do have a couple of videos to get through. So we'll do that real quick. I have two videos that John said that I need to watch. On 2b2t.org, Minecraft's oldest anarchy server, coronavirus has finally hit. How will 2b2t's population survive this deadly disease? This what game. can we do as a server to make it through? Well, as a nomad, I have the perfect answer. I am going to show you today how to beat coronavirus with a nomadic lifestyle. What's up guys, FatMC here. And first off, we need to find the perfect location for the base. Somewhere very safe, far away nothing. from cities. The desert is the perfect location for a base. People don't like deserts, that's why nobody goes to Australia. That's why we have so few cases. Okay, this looks like a perfect spot. Let's start out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. If you didn't realize, I'm counting the number of blocks. This is how nomads build their bases by counting the number of blocks they place. It's a very clever method. Okay, now we're gonna make this look as awful as possible. And in doing so, we're gonna keep people away because everybody knows that people with immune, uh, compromised immune systems don't like dirty things. Okay, so two doors here, guys. And we're going to put the pressure plates. It's a hands-free method of entry. We don't even have to touch the door to get inside. So we're not going to be touching any nasty germs. Sleeping. Okay. Is this? Nomad I don't recommend doing that after you've used the... The nomadic flare, we're going to put down some sand. Very nice. Nobody knows who this died This is here. all it is. That's right. Even I avoid coronavirus option is just get in the water and wait until the oxygen runs out. It's a lot faster, better way to go than pneumonia. Okay. Pat MC out. What is... That's probably the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Um... Well, let's look at the other one, I guess, and then I think this is just going to be it. Excuse me, this man was just explicitly racist, called me the N-word, and is be threatening violence what? against me. Please be careful of the man behind you. Please be careful of this man behind you. He's been calling me the N-word and the C-word. Yeah, you did. You said all of it. I heard him call you a twat. That's shitty. No, he called me a nigglet. You're a police officer? Yes, I am. Who do you work for? Then, then identify yourself. Why do people yourself. act like this? Why are you calling black people the N-word during a peaceful protest? A peaceful protest. Yeah. Why are you calling people the N-word? Why do you hate black people? I don't like black people. You don't like black people? We know that. Why don't you? None your fucking business. What did they do to you? Get your phone out of my face. No, that's okay. Stupid yeah. I don't give a viral. You're going viral. You're a racist garbage trash. Yeah, you're a fucking I will pray for you. Fucking nigglet. You don't have a fucking job. Okay. I don't have a job. Okay. Uh, you know, that's disgusting. I'm actually kind of glad that someone submitted that because then I can... I... I yeah. I don't know. I think racism is horrible. I think death is horrible. Radical Tony's death came at such a short time. Seems to have another caller. Hello, caller. How can I help you? Oh, uh, hello? Yeah, hi. Uh, how, how can I help you? Hi, yes. Um... Is this is um this is a private line, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 
All right. Well, um, I I went I went into uh, I, I went in my closet today and I I, uh, I unzippered my shorts and I, I I I noticed all these like you know these like these red spots around around my you know you you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I I, I get you. Yeah, I I got all these red spots. I I, I mean I I took a uh, I took some pliers. You know those really pointy pliers. I tried poking one of them, and, and now there's like. And now there's like yellow stuff oozing out of it. Um, what would you ask? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, <clears throat> I'm asking for a friend. Um, what would you prefer someone do in, in this case? Um, yeah. Um, you, you'd want to purchase some neosporin because that sounds like genital herpes. No, 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 no. no. It, it's not that. It, but you know, it, it, it's. It's it's in it. It's around it. It's on it. You know what I'm talking about, right? And it's and it's down below too. Um, yeah. Um, I, I tried cutting my foreskin. That didn't work. Um, I I I I don't know, doctor. Um, is, is there a way I can? Is is there a way I can send you pictures, so uh, so you can appropriately diagnose it? We have an email where you can send uh, information and images for him. Great. I'm a, I gotta warn you, and I don't really have my phone's broken, so I don't really have any um <clears throat> um how do I say this uh concurrent pictures or live pictures as you so call it um I only have pictures from my uh, last scene, so um, is it okay if I send you those? I mean, they're little on the uh on the woe side, but uh, who doesn't like someone on the woe side of my right, Doc? Yeah, sure, that's, that's fine. Alright, so who who can I uh, email this to? Um, I, uh, are I, you I, watching I, you the know, broadcast right now? I, I am watching the broadcast, yes. I, I That's how I got your number. How, how else do you think I got your number? You think I'm, think I'm a magician? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a very magical boy, but I... I'm not so magical that I just made these red spots appear with the flick on the hat, you know. Yeah. But but just indulge me. Go ahead. Uh yeah. Um, if you look in the chat, you can see the uh, email. Oh, okay. So I can just um, just send you pictures of my of my um, enlightenment's room penis, and then uh, and then I I we should be on the road to recovery then. Uh, once it's diagnosed, yes. Um, so, d listen, my, my mom doesn't know I'm calling, and she didn't know I did a scene. Can you, can you just not, you know, like, make any official record of it since I'm, like, since I'm 12? Um, oh, God. Okay. Okay, never mind. Uh, don't send it, anything to that email. Don't do anything like that. Wait, but, but, and, uh, but I, I have an issue, Doc. I, I, at this point, I don't care. What? This looks bad on me. Hey, are you kidding me? You're not going to help me? That's your one job. You've one I'm not a pediatrician. Job. I know, but you have one single job, and, and you know, you know, I'll sue you for malpractice. I will sue you for malpractice if you, you can't don't help me. You sue me for malpractice because I didn't help hey, you. Oh, but you gave me false information. You gave me false information. You, you said false information. You, you gave me a self diag. You gave me a false diagnosis. I didn't give you a false that? diagnosis. You well, gave did. You said, a false diagnosis. No. I no, said it could said, be herpes. I didn't say it was said, herpes. No, you said live on air that you that it was her that I had herpes. I said it sounds like you have herpes, herpes and you should get some neosporin. And now you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna take general herpes drugs. And you know, if that doesn't fix it and my symptoms worsen, I'm gonna sue you for malpractice, because that's what you said I had. Okay, fine. <laughs> Yeah, okay, fine. How about that? Huh. Or or we could just settle the lawsuit right now and I send you them pictures. No. You can be the doctor of doctors, no. you know? No. What what's wrong? What's wrong with what's wrong with me not sending you that doc? What what tell me? What's wrong? Huh? Tell me what's wrong with that doctor. Why can't I send you that? Because you're Why a child. I'm not a pediatrician. Who said PD? All right, do pediatricians perform surgery on you? If you're a child? No, surgeons do. No. I'm not a surgeon. Is a surgeon a doctor? 
No, he's a surgeon. Yeah, I know, but to to operate on someone, you have to be a doctor. So, are you telling me that doctors aren't allowed to see children? Is is that what you're telling me right now, sir? In special cases, but this isn't one of those special cases. All right, sir. I think this we're going to break this right now. This is extremely unprofessional. All right, sir. Sir, I'm Sean Clover with NBC News. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a child. I don't have anything wrong with me. But I just want to ask you why you're self-diagnosing people without any information. Is there, or is there a reason behind that? He gave, is there a, you is gave there a me reason, the information. Is there a reason that you won't accept malpractice when he confronted you? Is there a reason why you won't accept pictures? Sir, I need answers to these questions right There's now. There's bumps on the penis and they're leaking yellow pus. Okay. That's herpes. Oh, so you're saying I have herpes on my arm, herpes on my leg, herpes on my damn toenail? You can get herpes on my in the penis. You what? can you can get herpes in the back of your throat. Oh, you can you can get herpes in the back of your throat. Are you telling me, Doc, that you can get herpes in the back of your throat? Yes. Really? Yes. That, you, you can doc, get herpes is, anywhere. Doc, that is very hard to believe. You know that? Very hard to believe. I don't you know, believe I'm trying you. to mourn the loss of a friend here. Oh. And this Wait, who, stuff who's, coming Who's on. your friend? Who's Radical your friend? Tony. He passed away. Oh. Um, I'm trying to mourn the loss of a friend. And you come ooh, on can I fuck here. him? Okay. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Fuckers. Shut it down. Shut it down, John. We're done. We're done.